All right, good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. Today I'm going to be playing the tier 8 um, premium destroyer Lo Yang. It's Pan Asian, of course. It's very old, it's been in the game forever now. Um, but of course, we're going to be playing it for the Fresh Look series. This has been a very highly requested ship because, of course, it is one of the you know oldest premiums in the game. Also, it does look pretty cool. Also, it, I mean, it's pretty much like a four gun Benson, but here you are. So, if you guys want to see another ship featured in the How I Play. Sorry, not in, sorry, in the Fresh Look series, <laughs> um, please do leave it in the comments below. Or even if you want to see any other uh, playlists or whatever, leave them in the comments below. I will try my best to feature a ship. But let's start off with the commander build. So we have preventative maintenance, last stand, survivability expert, concealment expert, adrenaline rush, uh, main battery and AA specialist, fill the tubes, and swift fish. The reason I'm running this build, it's actually my Yu Yang build. And I'm just moving it straight from tier 10 to tier 8 because this is truly what you're going to be doing. You're going to try be training captains for the Yu Yang with Lo Yang, for example. Then we have Concealment System Mod 1, Prop Mod 1, uh, Aiming System Mod 1, Hydro Search Mod 1, and Main Armaments Mod 1. And we are going to be running the Hydro, okay? Um, in terms of exterior, in terms of the camouflage for the ship... Um, I'm running the Type 10 Lo Yang here, which is the normal perma ca camouflage for the ship, which looks gorgeous, I, to be honest. It does look really good for the Lo Yang. I think it looks amazing. Um, but we also have the availability of Lunar New Year, which also looks incredible for the Lo Yang here. It does look really good on the Lo Yang. And I, I actually really like this camouflage personally. But yeah, let's play with the normal camo. You know, just to show the ship. For actually, no, no, no. Let's play with the the cool camo. <laughs> all right, let's. All right, so let's go into our first game in the Lo Yang. All right, all right. So here we are on Crash Zone Alpha in a tier nine match in Lo Yang. All right, shouldn't be too bad. So let's go towards the A cap here, and we'll see what we can do. But I'm gonna skip this part because you know you don't want to just suffer and wait. Alright, so here we are at the A cap here. Traveled. It was a minute and a half of traveling. But anyway, so the Lo Yang, what do we have? We have a 5.5 kilometer hydro. We have an American smoke screen, not the Pan Asian smoke screen. We have Benson Torps, I believe. And then we also have four Benson guns. Not the five gun Benson, sadly. So you're trading out the gun for the fact that you have hydro. But you're also losing um, speed a bit because you don't have speed boost. So you go 39.9 knots maximum, which isn't too bad actually. It's still faster than USS Black, which goes around 36 knots. Alright, I'm spotted. Outspotted. So it has to be Yukikaze. We're gonna Hydro. Hope the Amalfi doesn't smash us too hard. I'm gonna actually smoke up here. Because this is not a good spot for me to be in. We're just gonna walk towards him and just push him out of the cap with our Hydro. That's kind of what you're supposed to be doing in Lo Yang. Kind of playing Hydro Annoyance the entire game, right? So, here we are. Hydro Annoyance. Kinda just abuse your smoke, your hydro range, and just scare, I guess, the stores out of your path. Remember, you can spot torps with hydro, it's really nice. You know what I mean? So, that's good. Let us try get this capture point finally, hopefully, soon. The, the Yukikaze will try to torp me, but in the meantime, I will try gun down this Pomer. Not all of it, obviously, because it's like 70,000 HP and we have four guns, but piece by piece, you know. Rome wasn't built in a day, Pomern wasn't killed in a day. So let's um, torp in his general direction, we're probably gonna hit none of them because he can run out of range easily, plus he has Hydro on, and our torps are extremely slow torps because they're Benson torps. They're pretty miserable torps to be honest. Here they are. What, those are Amalfi torps over there. The Pomern DCP'd by the way, we could actually lay, lay siege and set the Permafire here maybe potentially. Um, he is dodging with the Hydro as you can see, he's turning in. And here's the Yukikaze Torps coming my way. We're gonna have to run very soon here. Actually, right now. Because the Yukikaze might 
run at me after my smoke is faded. We miss every torp as expected. As expected with these torps, do they go like fucking 58 knots? You, you could actually make them go 51 if you, uh, 61 if you wanted to, but I don't think 3 knots makes any difference to be honest. In terms of sh hitting hydro battleships like here. Can't keep shooting this guy. We're gonna leave the, 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 the cap. <coughs> um, I'm gonna try get behind this rock and keep shooting him. Potentially. We can't shoot him right now because he's in secondary range, guys. And that's scary, obviously. So we're just going to chill out and get behind the rock first. And then we can continue uh, shooting the Pomeran. Okay. Our shores did die. Is what it is. The Yukikaze is in the cap because we just got three resets and it didn't reset the entire cap. So it has to be the Yukikaze also contesting the capture point. That's okay. We're going to actually turn around now because we don't want to completely lose the flank here. We want to turn around um, so we can actually re-push if we need to. Maybe fight the Nagato. That's what I'm currently thinking. Hopefully we can kill the Pomeran. I need to get behind another island to actually engage him again. I don't want to shoot right now because I don't want to lose too much HP. Because we still have to fight that Yukikaze. So we have to keep that in mind. Let's shoot. Because we're at a safe, relatively safe distance. 9 kilometers. Plus he's not even looking our way with main guns. Got him. Good job to our Heinrich too. So we're gonna go out here. The thing with Lo Yang is you can play a bit crazy-ish against, for example, like Japanese destroyers here because of your Hydro, right? So you can kind of like walk around into places and be be kind of almost dominant in a way because because you can't get torped. All right, here he is. Be careful. It's okay. Let's see if anything's looking at us. All right, here's your Kikazi pre-kited, ready for us. That's okay. It doesn't matter, we're just gonna smoke up again, and we're just gonna hide and smoke. That's all we're gonna do. Pretty much one play style in Lo Yang, just hide and smoke, and play. Only way. And if, if Yukikaze really is addicted, that addicted to killing me, he can walk into my hydro range. Or he could torp me, but I'll see them with hydro. I should have torped the other way. Obviously, he's not gonna go straight south because he wants to turn in and fight the ships. That was a mistake on my part. GG. We're going to turn our ship around. We're gonna pre-kite here. So when our smoke fades, we can actually just run out of it and away from the ships. There's the Yukikaze torps. That's okay. We have hydro for those. That's fine. Torpedoes astern. Double fire in Nagato. I wish I was better at torping, obviously, so I can actually hit them, but my mistake here, obviously, is what it is. But basically, Lo Yang is a, is a gunboat. Like, the torps are pretty mediocre at best. I mean, they also only do 11,000 damage when they hit. They're very low damage torps. So, yeah, keep that in mind when you're playing this thing. If you want to play a better torp boat that's pan-asian, play Sen Young. It has reload booster as well. And they're invisible torps. It just doesn't get the hydro, obviously. But it gets the same gun power, I believe. We have to... Oh, 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 oh. Hello. Oh, but my Hydro just ran out. Good timing on the Yukikaze here. Thing is with Yukikaze is he actually actually straight up beat me in a 1v1 because of his gun power. He actually has better gun power because they're Japanese guns. They have really high alpha damage. 
Even though the reload is worse, that's pretty irrelevant. He has six guns, I have four, and his alpha is significantly higher, so... And they're easier shells to hit, so... Okay. We're gonna run away from him, that's all. That's all we can do right now. And hope we can beat him with our back guns only for now. Okay, we got our front guns in the fight, maybe. We have to like use our front guns while Steve is reloading, basically. We're beating him right now. This is really good. come out of smoke pretty sure I have to be careful of the Congress it's gonna be a hard one for sure but I think we can beat them 20 seconds to my hydro 20 seconds he'll die 15 seconds he'll die if he doesn't peek yeah he peeked okay I'm kited at him though that's really bad for me really bad position for me should beat him anyway got him very good we're gonna hide her right now, because he probably launched torps at us. Alright, he didn't launch torps at us, that's really good. Alright, we get to play the game again. That's nice. I'm gonna skip so here, so you don't have to wait for me to actually get into range or something. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So, the only issue here is we don't have smokescreen. So we can't actually fight the Congress. Not yet, at least. I want to get the cap first. Actually, no, no, no. The thing is, he, no one on my team can shoot him. He's f oh, but he's healing. I trolled, I trolled. He's healing. Uh oh. He's gonna look at me. He's gonna look at me. I'm dead. I thought he was 4k HP and he wasn't gonna heal. I'm sorry. The troll, Malta. The troll. The ape play. He's almost gonna get his broadside. He'll kill him, but. We miss out on the cap, but we can get it later if we live. He's going broadside to Izumo. The, the Congress has completely forgotten there's a tier 9 battleship on his broadside. Completely. Holy. Actually, I can go dark because my range is so limited. <laughs> oh, and then we can turn back into the cap, I guess. Hmm. Congress is running at an Izumo. Amalfi is running as a submarine. I think we're gonna win this game, guys. I'm pretty confident. If the Congress slows down, I can shoot him. If he keeps moving like this, I can't shoot him ever, so... He's dead. Alright. Let's cap to make sure we win. And, of course, to show dominance that we actually won the A cap after a long-fought battle. And then we'll, uh, GG, I guess. I'm gonna skip this part so you don't have to suffer again. Something happened. After like 10 minutes of waiting, something happened. Holy. No way. Oh. <laughs> That's the game. Alright. Let's go back to port and check out the score. We'll talk about the build, check the price, check the stats, you know, standard. And then talk about the show. So... We got 109k damage, 2 kills, 5 fires, 3 defendeds, 2 caps, 6 spotted ribbons and 259 shell hits for personal score. Team score we got top of the team, 2.2k base XP. We did kill our flank basically and helped kill our flank of course. Um, but yeah, so we did 30k to the Pomeran, 16k to the Yukikaze, 38k to the Nagato, 17k to the Kansas. 4k on the Congress and 2k on the Arland. Of course, I could have gotten way more damage if I actually torped the Nagato, but I missed my torps because I'm a dog, but it's okay. 15k damage received. Credits and XP, we got 620,000 credits, 10,000 XP, 2.6k free XP, and 12,400 commander XP. So there you go. In terms of my commander build, I'm running again. Preventative Maintenance, Last Stand, Survivability Expert, Concealment Expert, Adrenaline Rush, um, Fill the Tubes, Swift Fish, and Main Battery and A Specialist. And then for Equipment, I'm running Concealment System Mod 1, Prop Mod 1, Aiming System Mod 1, 
Hydro Search Mode 1 and Main Armaments Mode 1 and Hydro of course in the slot. Make sure you run Hydro when you're playing Low Yang because there's no reason to play it over Benson otherwise. So um, an alternate build you can run potentially is instead of fill the tubes you can run Superintendent. I would probably recommend that um, because the Torps are pretty questionable anyway. But yeah, so let's check out our statistics in the Low Yang which honestly aren't too high guys. This isn't a damage farmer type of destroyer. Um, this is more of a kind of cap contester ranked style maybe if it was tier 8 ranked style destroyer um, So let's scroll down See if we can find low yang So I have 80% win rate in the low yang over 46 games I have a 53k average damage which is really bad obviously But then again it's not a damage farmer plus I've had low yang for quite a long time as well So 80% win rate is honestly not too bad for a ship like this. Um, in terms of low Yang B, same average damage, 60% win rate. So it's pretty much the same thing, right? So so but yeah, but low Yang stats, 80% win rate, 46 games, 53k average damage. In terms of the price of the ship, if we can go take a look in the armory first, we'll go into the armory, we'll do tier 8 Pan Asian Destroyer. So we have three available, um, 10,300 Fenyang, really bad ship. Siliwang is actually not too bad, pet 10.3k. And then Lo Yang is only 8.3k doubloons. So it makes us the cheapest Pan-Asian destroyer to get at tier 8. Honestly, pricing alone, it's not too bad of an investment to be honest. It isn't a crazy ship, obviously, but the price is pretty cheap on it. So if we check the premium shop also, um, we go into ships, and tier 8. Pan-Asian Destroyer, as you can see, 33 euro 89, 33 euro 89, but Lo Yang is only 27 euros and 31 cents. Here it is, big fan, but yeah. So that's pretty much the Lo Yang. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, is it a good ship? Do I recommend the Lo Yang? I think it's okay. I don't think it's it's a thing you should like force yourself into getting. It can obviously still be good in certain situations, for example, with the Hydro and Cap Contesting because it has a really long range hydro, 5.5 kilometers. Um, but then again, the torps are really bad, and then the guns are, I mean, they're four Benson guns, okay? And the HP is only 17,800. So it's not a crazy ship, guys. Like, personally, I prefer playing USS Kid, for example. But guys, if you did enjoy the gameplay, I mean, of course you're gonna enjoy playing the ship. So there you go. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm always on Twitch if you guys want to ask further questions or come say hi to me. Um, link is in the description below for my Twitch. I would appreciate if you do come say hi. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, of course, links available on Discord for uh, builds for other ships and etc. And if you guys want a ship to be featured in the next video, either come on Discord into the content feedback channel and type something there. Or um, type it in the comments below. And leave a like or a sub, I would appreciate it because it helps me out a bunch. But I'll see you in the next video, guys. Big fan.